It's been nearly two years since Apple released iTunes 11 to a shaky reception, but this autumn, we are going to be in for a new version of iTunes, iTunes 12. The flat design has been around for quite some time now, but only recently came to iOS devices when iOS 7.0 shipped last year. Although the macOS desktop interface hasn't changed much, it's going to receive many of the aesthetics from iOS 7 when the OS X 10.10 Yosemite is released this fall. Of course, iOS and OS X are not the only Apple products that are expecting some improvements. Let's take a preview of iTunes 12, sporting what the company calls an elegant new design, and all of its new features that you can expect to use this fall. The new design echoes the flatter, more translucent cues of OS X Yosemite and features a number of more information-dense elements. The navigation bar, for instance, has been reorganized with individual buttons for music, movies, television, shows, and apps while hiding other less used options behind a more content menu. Switching between your music library and the iTunes store is much simpler and feels less like switching between two different apps. It's also easier to switch from music to movies to TV shows to podcasts. Accessing the App Store along with other connected iOS devices is simpler too. Also gone is the toggle to switch between the iTunes Store and the local library. Instead, users simply choose from a list of options. The App section grants the user's ability to choose My iPhone Apps, My iPad Apps, List, Updates, or iTunes Store, for example. Apple's family sharing program that allows up to six family members to share content from the iTunes Store, as long as each family member uses the same credit card. That feature is now available alongside improved playlists and a redesigned Get Info window. iTunes still needs a radical overhaul for all kinds of reasons, but the brief time I've spent with iTunes 12, it's a step in the right direction. At least it now feels like a Mac app from this decade. <laughs>